Okay, so maybe it's my community post. I did get the truck back. Oh, you did get the truck back, boys. That's so freaking sick, dude. So happy to have the truck back, finally. I, I did clean it out when I got home. So it is very, very uh, clean, as you can see. So let me get my hand around. Like, look how clean this is. Like, like, bruh. It's so clean. It's so clean. It's like, dude. I don't know who else on the channel missed the Chevrolet. Good old Chevrolet Silverado. I sure did, dude. Like, I missed the tiny little screen. <laughs> the garbage speakers, but blasting country music. It's different, you know? And the, mo and the most important part, the V8. Like... I, all the other cars we've had, even our rental is pretty sick. I mean, our rental, if you haven't seen, it's a uh, 2022 Chrysler Pacifica. Um, and uh, it's new and fancy, and the speakers are really nice. But nothing hits different like, I'm trying to get a good lighting, nothing hits different like a good old V8, a 2009 uh, big boy truck. Like, for, uh, like, dude, this thing is so sick. It's so freaking sick. So sick. Like, dude. <laughs> so fire. So, we might get a startup video. Like a startup sound. Okay, so here's some things that he did fix. He fixed um, some things in the rear, so like some sway bar stuff, I'm pretty sure. Um, he was gonna, f he is going to fix some sway bar bushings in the front and something else that I think he said. Forgot entirely what he said. But it's just like front end and rear end work um uh but like me going over bumps I, like my dad was in the truck uh the second time i drove it today and um i was like watch this so then i aimed for the biggest bump on planet earth like biggest pothole because oklahoma has potholes every second um and i was like watch this so i like front so you can, hear, you can feel the front and i was like here's the rear and then the rear goes over the bump and he's like yeah, the rear is way better. <laughs> so, because uh, we wanted our truck ASAP, so we got the rear end work done and the transmission work done. Um, we only paid for the like a little bit of the rear and the transmission, obviously, because that's what we were going in mainly for is the transmission stuff. And then while he was looking at the truck um, the day of, so like we dropped it off with him the day of, so he came and looked at it and then he was like, "I can get it, I can get it like fixed and all that." So he was like, "Also, you need some front end and some rear end work." Where my camera is focusing on my steering wheel. Um, so then we were like, okay, okay, you, we can do that. We can do that now. So we want to do it later. Um, and then he was like, uh, we were like, we'll, we'll wait and schedule whenever we can do front end work because this is our only vehicle right now. Um, and we could go a couple months with until we needed to change those bushings out because they're not terrible. But so we did that, and um, we also had a like a cracked bolt. Um, it was holding like holding up our exhaust, so he had to, he took it took him forever to get that cracked bolt out, but he got that out and fixed the exhaust leak. So, bro, it sounds I don't know if I'm tripping or and I just haven't heard it in a while, but it sounds good, dog. It sounds real good. <laughs> like me driving it, dude. The shifts, the shifts are crazy. Like here in a second, I'm gonna play a video of what it sounded like, and you can probably could see a little bit of camera motion whenever it would shift before versus now because so i did take a video uh of like how it sounded i was like who is that walking their dog someone's always walking their dog here i've already seen like two today when i was washing the truck earlier um oh, okay uh but um dude the transmission like you i didn't know anything was wrong with it until I drove it with it fixed. Like. Bro those clutches. Those clutches dude. Those clutches were bad. <laughs> like my goodness. So uh. Just making sure there's no one back here. Whenever I start the truck and rev it. Don't want to scare that dog. I might wait for that dog to pass. I uh, don't want to scare no dog. With some some pops and gurgles. <laughs> um, Stop focusing on my steering wheel. But um. Dude, it drives so much better. Good gosh. Oh 
Oh my god. Okay, so one more thing before we do get a start up. Um, it, so the transmission broke, if you saw my video, it broke on Christmas Eve, which is very unfortunate. Stop focusing on the steering wheel. It's very unfortunate that it broke on Christmas Eve, um, but it did. And um, it's been broken since then. It took us a while to figure out who to like, call and who to get. And everyone was so expensive. And then my grandpa came uh, to see me while we were not at our at our house. We were staying somewhere else because our house was getting remodeled. He saw that video. So he came to see me for my birthday, which was like the 6th, January 6th. So obviously sometime after Christmas. He came and see me, uh, saw me, and I was like, you want to go listen to the truck real quick? The, tr the transmission is like acting up or something. Like I'm not sure why it won't go into reverse. Um... And he came and looked at it, listened to it, um, and he was like, I have a guy that fixes transmissions and stuff. He's actually my old neighbor, because he lives right across from my grandpa, where my grandpa used to live. So, he's known this guy for forever. Um, um, so, yeah, we brought it, brought it to him a little bit, like, a little after. So, like, February 5th is when we brought it, so, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Or was whenever he came and looked at it, and then we dropped it off at his house so he could bring it to the shop. Um, but it's been a while. It took him a while to fix it too, because he's only, he only has it's only him fixing stuff at his shop. Um, I'm gonna help him with the front end work whenever we get the front end work. I'm gonna drive it up there to the shop and help him fix it, because I will also get the price knocked down well, since I can. I'm help. I'm gonna help him. Because he's seen me grow up, he's seen me help my grandpa on his Silverado, so he was like, you haven't got to work on any vehicles because your grandpa moved away, um, so you can come help me. <laughs> so I was like, yes. So he's sick, I don't know if he's gonna, ever going to watch this, but he's a sick dude. And uh, hey, it took him a while, fix it because he's by himself, and uh, it's an old truck, so there are some things that need to be fixed, but it's good that they got fixed. And they're getting fixed. Um, makes this truck even last even longer. Because it is at... Um, last time I looked at it, it was at uh, 198.075. So 198,000. Fresh. <laughs> so he probably must have got it to 198 while he was driving it to Shawnee, Oklahoma. So, um, yeah. So if we do any any insane mods... Like exhaust, uh, intake manifolds, uh, anything like that. Probably going to go to his shop and do it there. Because that's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, obviously I have to like, ask, hey, can we use your shop and like do some truck mods and all that. Um, that would be really sick. <laughs> that would be very, very sick. Uh, so, yeah. That sounds really good. I haven't heard it on a video yet. I've only heard it of me driving inside the cabin. Um, but it sounds really good, so, let's go. Wait for the old guy to go inside. Make sure I don't... Oh, it's behind me, so I don't scare no one. Okay, let's go get the camera outside. 